We're stepping into the ring now as we catch up with reigning WBC super middleweight champion of the world, Carl Froch. I'm like a freak, a throwback, a clone for the super middleweight. I'm always fully loaded, ready to do some damage. I'll take them rack of ribs down, no problem. Unleash hell at any given moment, take him into the trenches. On the 24th of April, Carl the Cobra Frotch will defend his WBC super middleweight title against the man they call the Viking Warrior, Mikkel Kessler. It will be his second fight in the all-new Super 6 Boxing Classic, a format which sees the top six super middleweights competing for the WBA and WBC titles. I boxed as a schoolboy from the age of 10 years old. I had nearly 50 fights. I came out of the sport when I was 15. Got back into the game at 17, 18. My career highlight was winning a medal. I was the first Englishman to win a medal in the World Championships in Belfast in 2001. That was my platform to turn professional. Broch began his professional life alongside trainer Rob McCracken after an exemplary amateur career, eventually lining up a title match against Canadian Jean Pascal. Yeah, that was amazing for me, the, the fight with Jean Pascal. The title was vacated rather than defended by Joe Calzaghe himself. And um, I thought Jean Pascal, what a great fighter he is. He gave me one hell of a fight and it was a great performance and a great night for um, television, the fight fans and the, the people of Nottingham. And a great night for myself and my family. I, mean, I became world champion in front of my home crowd. 12 rounds point decision against a top, top fighter. You know, my first defence against Jermaine Taylor, it would have been hard to eclipse the fight with Pascal, but that pretty much did it because I was put down for the first time in my career. So that was a big ask for me to climb off the canvas and, and do a job on someone like Jermaine Taylor. And I did the job in round 12. And, you know, you've got to be a tough, strong warrior in this game. Not many people could do that. And I did it and to produce the finish that I produced in round 12 without giving myself too much of a pat on the back. It was, it was not shy of genius. Everybody in the arena was screaming for the Cobra. After Taylor Frotch joined the Super 6 Boxing Classic, defending his title in group stage one against Andre Durrell. Now it's Denmark for round two, as he takes on Mikkel Kessler, who lost his WBA title to Andre Ward in his first fight of the series. I was surprised that Kessler was so easily outboxed but there was a lot of factors affecting his performance. I'm not expecting an easy night with Kessler. I'm not expecting an old, worn out, finished Kessler. He's gonna come back now stronger than ever because he lost his title and he's in a position that he's able to now fight straight away for a world title. That could be dangerous for him because you know, he's coming in, if anything, probably mentally scarred, a little bit traumatized by the whole occasion of losing his belt. And he's coming against undisputed, reigning and defending, knockout specialist, Carl Farrat. And he's thinking, can I really beat Carl? He'll be asking that question at night. And it's my job when he sits down in the corner in round one, round two and round three, if it lasts that long, and be sat in the corner thinking, I'm in deep water here. Despite some pundits questioning Frotch's defence, he does boast an unbeaten record. So what does Kessler have to offer to answer that? Kessler is very sort of Eastern European, standard upright, vertical forearms, good defence, Queensby rule, textbook type of style fighter. He doesn't do anything special. But what he does do, he does very well. We're both strong, proud men, warriors. We've got big hearts and you know, we can both take a punch. I'm undefeated in 26 fights, 20 by way of knockout. I've been put down once in my career, yeah, that's noted. I'm the sort of fighter who doesn't take much hammer in a fight. Um, so if I've got a bad defence, then you know, it's, this bad defence needs to be taught to everybody who fights because I just don't get hit. Win or lose against Kessler, Frotch's next opponent will be Arthur Abraham. A win against the German should see him through to the semi-finals at the Super 6. So, can the Englishman win it all? I'm confident I can win the Super 6. I don't think there's a man on this planet that can beat me at Super Middleweight. Unless I get flattened and stretched out of the ring, I'm winning the fight. It's as simple as that. That's my mentality. And when I finish with the Super 6, I'll probably fight Pascal like every way. One or two big fights, and I can retire with my scruples intact. Hopefully my nose just as half straight as it is now. So I'm not doing too bad. I'm looking forward to winning the Super 6 and then going on. On from there to bigger and better things. We've got one fight at a time, Mikel Kessler. We've got a chance now to pick up the, the great green belt, the best belt in the business, the WBC title. It's my job to defend that and defend that in style. And, um, that's why I'm here.